you know, we have tried an assault weapons ban in the United States for 10 years. Obviously, and, and there's no evidence that it had any impact, even studies funded by the Clinton administration. You have strict gun controls in Europe. Look at the France, look at Germany, look at Norway, look at other countries that have extremely strict gun control laws. And yet the U EU as a whole during the Obama administration had more casualties per capita from mass public shootings than the United States did during the entire load Obama of, administration. What's an absolute load of nonsense. Utter, utter Pierce, nonsense. Pierce, people can go How to our many website. Shoots fact, right, I gave let me ask your producer. You. Let me ask you. I gave your producer. You can go to crimeresearch.org. Yeah, okay. Let me ask you. you let me ask you a very simple. Let me ask you a very simple question. How many shootings? You're, how many people were killed by guns in Britain last year? Yeah, it's relatively low. How and many? It's been low. How many? But the thing is, it went how many? up. John, it's how many? gone up John, after each year of gun control laws. Give me a number. After 1997, yeah. when you banned handguns, yeah. over the next eight years, homicides went up by 50%. Mm -hmm. They only fell back down to the original level after you had a 14% increase in the number of police officers. That wasn't why, actually. That wasn't you look why. No, no, wasn't, no, hang on. Let me pick you up on the, on the science, because I'm actually as informed as you are about this. Actually, what happened after Dunblane was for the first few years, as they tried to implement the ban, it was complicated and messy, and the gun crime did tick up a bit. So then they brought in a new five-year... 50%? Wait, no, let me finish. They brought in a five-year prison sentence, mandatory, for people who were caught with illegal firearms. And guess what? That worked. And from that day, gun crime in Britain has plummeted. Now, let me ask you a simple question once again. Because Come you said... Back to what you, it was before let, the ban. Let, no, John, let me ask you a simple question. Let's keep it simple. You said there's more gun crime in Europe than there is in America. So let me just ask you. That's not what ha I said. Let me ask but you. I said mass public shootings. OK, mass public shootings, it, yeah. Well, given you've just had two of the worst ever in America's history in the last four weeks, we'll come back to that. But let me ask you this once again. How many gun deaths were there in Britain last year? I, I don't know off the top of my head for last year. But you're the world, but as but I but said, you're the world never, expert on look, this, you the told point me. Is, the point is, the point is, it was, it was lower before you had different types of gun control regulations No, that's in completely Britain. and utterly untrue. Let me answer the question that, that you... That is not untrue. Let me answer, look, the, let me if, answer the question for you. If you, you look across it, the John, world... Look, please be quiet. Wait, let me answer the question for you, because Pierce, you are incapable... Your, your way you you are incapable is always to of ask answering and answer a simple your own question. questions. Let me answer it for you. There are, on average, in the last five, six years in Britain, 32 people a year killed by guns. In America, it is 85 a day. And you have the gall, in the light of another mass shooting, to come on this programme and try and pretend that Europe has a bigger okay. gun problem Pierce, than America. Do me a favour. Now, Pierce, there's lots of things that differ between England and the United States. You had very low gun crime before you had any type of gun control laws, whether it be 1920, 1956, 1997, you see increases in gun crime after those laws have been put in place. The United States has a, a bad problem. Do you accept that in the last two years, uh, the firearm death rate in America has risen? Yeah, under the last two years of the Obama administration, it went up. OK, it's, it's risen. It's about five per 100,000. It's risen. And do you accept that in that period there have been no changes to US gun laws? I, th I accept, yeah. Well, right. no, there have been some increases. You've had California and New York have passed new restrictions. Right. But, you, uh, but just to clarify, you've had a couple other states accept, that have passed more restrictions. Just to clarify, there has been a significant uptick in the number of gun deaths in America in the past two years. Further to that... It's three, because three, of policing. Three of the five worst mass shootings in American history have happened in the last 16 months, right? So do you accept, John Lott, that you don't just have a problem in America, you now have an epidemic of increasingly grotesque and gigantic mass shootings which have rendered the threat from homegrown American people being far more dangerous to American lives than terrorists, 
and yet all the attention from your president and from the NRA and others is on the terrible threat from terrorists, not from these people killing everyone in churches, killing everyone in concerts, killing everyone that they can find with their AR-15s. Look, there have been horrible incidences, and you've had them all across the world. The United States doesn't have any monopoly on this by any extent. You know, you have 130 people killed in Paris during the concert shooting that occurred there. There were more You've people. Had bombings there were more that people around the world. Just to pick you These up again. These are all terrorists. Just whether to pick they're you up again. There were more people shot dead. Is, there were more people how, shot. How do you stop there were more these people. things? And I'm going to finish. Can I speak for a minute, finish. Piers? No, you You've spoken most of the time. I'm going to address Piers, the point you just made. Piers, if you have a guest made. on, let them speak, please. Well, no, but it's actually our show, okay. not yours. And when you make a false statement, I I'm going to correct that, it. I understand that, but... I'm going to correct the uh, false impression you just gave. Police are extreme... Well, let, let me, me correct the false impression you just police gave, Police are extremely Law. important yeah. in stopping mass public shootings. Yeah. And and there were more crime. shootings in America. But the thing is, they have an almost impossible job when it comes to stopping mass public shootings. Right. There were having more shootings. Somebody in uniform there were more shootings. is like having somebody you know with what? a neon sign talking? above them saying, shoot me first. Can you stop talking? And so the question is, how do you try to stop these All things? Right. And let me Mental tell you, health how do I isn't going to stop you, talking? Stop you know, in this gun case. Crime. A silence. Mental, look. Silence. I disagree with the president Shut on this. up. All right? Here's the truth. There were I disagree more with the president dead. on mental there health. There were more people shot dead. There were more people shot dead in America in that week of the Pierce, Paris shooting. You're repeating the, the same Paris points over and over again. Since the Second it's World not helpful. War. You are talking complete Look. nonsense. When are you people in America going to stop talking nonsense about guns and stop your young people being annihilated keep on in the way that we the are word seeing? nonsense isn't advancing anything on this. Really? Look, well, well, okay. The guy okay. In, so yeah, what will yeah. advance it? What is your answer in light of the Texas massacre to stopping a massacre happening again? Because after Vegas, when 600 people were attacked out of 22,000, nothing was done. We were told it was too soon. Now we're being told again it's too soon. What would you like to see done in light of the Vegas attack and this attack in Texas to stop more massacres? Look, I'm not, I never said it's too soon to talk about this, even when you've interviewed me, and you've interviewed me many times. Right. I think what we need to do, whether it be the type of attack that we just saw in New York City, or we see these other types of things like the attack that we just saw, look, a private citizen stopped this attack. It would have been much worse if he hadn't been able to be there. How do you know that? And so How do you know I that? Only he wish, killed 26 people. I only wish that... Pardon? You're talking about Texas? Right. You think a private citizen stopped him? He killed 26 people and shot another 20. I said it would have been worse if the private citizen hadn't been there with his gun. How do you know? I only you don't wish even know, somebody don't even know, there... We don't even know the I private citizen wish... killed him, do we? we? We don't know what happened. You haven't got a clue. You just no, made that up. We know from multiple witnesses that when the private citizen started shooting at him, he dropped his gun and left. Now, no, whether the private citizen... We do not know that. Citizen, Hit and, the individual. We do not know that. All we do know is we he killed 26 know. people. We do know. No, we know I he gave killed your 26 producer people. Multiple he wasn't stopped from clips doing anything. From witnesses who had seen it and said that he dropped his gun when he was shot. The Texas police what have new... been on public statements okay. saying that the person dropped his gun and left when the private citizen. Okay. Look, F final if question. People for go you. to our website final question at crimeresearch.org. Yeah, okay. They can find dozens of cases of mass public shootings that have been stopped by citizens uh, with complete, permanent concealed you know handguns. What? Well, what we do I know is talk, that these mass this. public shootings wouldn't have happened if people hadn't had access to guns. But you know, um, this is unfortunately, you, Mr. Lot, are part yeah. of the problem. You're the kind of guy that pops up after every one of these mass shootings and tells everyone Europe has a worse problem, even though that's complete and utter nonsense. You're the one that says there can be no new gun laws. You're the kind of guy that stands there with your little stats and says the only answer is more guns. And you know what's happening? Your country is shooting itself to death in ever greater, more well, grotesque you manner think, and numbers. And it is a shame on America, and it's a shame on people like you. And I just hope at some stage... This somehow cuts through where something is done the to try and stop people like you controlling the narrative on guns in your country. All right, let's go, uh, let's go now. No, we're, we're done with you.